Hi guys, welcome back to another one. Today we'll be looking at introduction to balance sheets. Before we start, if you wanna see my daily trades, what I buy, what I sell, my profit, my loss, what I invest in and any updates, check out my Instagram page. I post daily on there, it's at Mosh Money Official and I'll link it in the description below. Also, if you want a free share, yes, completely free, go in the description below, click the link, create a Trading212 account, and you'll get a free share worth up to 100 pounds. So definitely go do that. There are three key financial statements when it comes to a business. The first one is the income statement. If you're not sure how to read income statements, I put in the link in the description below, and it should be on top as well. Click that, watch that first before moving on to this. You've got the balance sheet we're going to discuss today and the cash flow statement. It's all part of my financial statement series. Now, what is a balance sheet? A balance sheet is just the company's assets, things they own, liabilities, any debts they have and capital. So any money they have, um, it's a statement of those. Now, if you watch my income statement video, an income statement shows you the revenue of a business. So how much money they make selling whatever the product is that they sell or the service, the cost related to providing that service or those goods and generally a profit. So the income statement shows the revenue or you can say the sales, the cost incurred related to those sales or those revenues and hopefully a positive profit. I can't spell. A positive profit. An income statement is like a story. It captures everything that happens from one point in time to another. However, it may not tell you how much a company is worth. That is where the balance sheet comes in. A balance sheet tells you how much a company is worth. Balance sheets are produced by the directors of the company. They determine a date, but it has to be a minimum of 12 months that they prepare it from. Generally for retail business, they'll do it from December to December. Okay. And other businesses for the UK, they'll do it from April to April. So within the tax year, but again, these dates can vary. One thing to be aware of is as soon as a balance sheet is prepared. Okay. It's out of date because it's based on historic price data. So a balance sheet is a quick snapshot of the net worth of a business. Now, if I was to do a balance sheet for myself, now, if I was to figure out my net worth, as an example, I can say I own a house and let's say that house is worth 100K, 100,000 pounds. Now, let's say I also have some cash in my bank account and that's worth 1,000 pounds. Okay, so I just put one there. Now, is that actually my net worth? Well, no, because to buy the house, I didn't just give 100K cash, I got a mortgage. Now, on my mortgage, there's 80,000 pounds left. I can also say I owe my friend some money. So let's say I owe my friend um, 500 pounds. So I can say my net worth, if I minus my liabilities from my assets, is 20.5 so that is my net value now a couple of things to point out my mortgage is let's say 20 years so that will be classed as a long-term debt i owe my friend 500 pounds um but i can give that money back let's say next week because i've got a thousand pounds in the account so that is classed as my short-term debt my house i intend to keep more than a year so this will be classed as a fixed asset, okay? Anything that you keep for longer than a year. Now cash, obviously it's gonna come in and out. I might have bills to pay. So this is called a current asset. Everything on this side is what I own. Everything on this side is what I owe. That is the net. Now when it comes to balance sheet, you have to think about how all this was funded. So in my example, when I bought the house, let's say I got given some money from my family to put down as a deposit, okay? In a business, this is what shareholders do. They fund the business. So how has everything been paid for? Now, the reason why it's called a balance sheet is because 
how it's funded and your net worth should be the same it should balance so if we relate this back to a company a company has fixed assets anything that's long term more than a year that they hold it could be vehicles buildings warehouses factories okay they also have current now that is less anything less than a year so this could be stock you know if i'm producing t-shirts t-shirts is a stock any cash and also something called receivables my spelling is awful by the way so you'll see a lot of spelling mistakes so if you've ever bought a product on buy now pay later okay that would go under a company's receivables because you owe the company money all right when it comes to what they owe on a company there's long-term debts and obviously debts occur interest and there's short term so anything less than a year and this is generally anything more than a year so your external creditors that this is where that will go your external creditors now your net worth of a company is what shareholders have put in so money shareholders have put in plus any profits you made or retain from previous years okay then this bit how it's all been funded there's something called share capital now share capital is a company has raised when a company raises money by selling shares also how it's been funded is by any profits it's made and you can get that from the income statement now how does this all help if you just look at the income statement that will tell you how much they profit they've made in a year or per quarter. It doesn't give you the full picture. However, a balance sheet can give you the net worth of a company. Just be aware though, balance sheets can have some hidden nasties in there. So one example is called uh, contingent liabilities. So if you remember Volkswagen, they had a big scandal, um, the emission scandal, and they had to pay billions out. That will be known as a contingent liability so any lawsuits will be hidden in the balance sheet another thing to be aware of balance sheet is when you see it remember it's based on historic price data so everything is out of date they might have certain assets that are of a value when the balance sheet was created but that value may increase or decrease at today's prices this was just a beginner's guide to balance sheets there are a few more things um, that are involved in a balance sheet but I'll make another video on that um, because it is at a bit higher level and you have to get your head around the basics of a balance sheet income statement and a cash flow statement before going on to the next step please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video